Hello. Morning, morning. Okay, so let's get started. It seems like it might be just two of us plus our uh, innocent other innocence other pilot today. So, nevertheless, uh, this is August. No, this is August tenth, August tenth, two thousand and three. RSVC ex community call. Antitrust policy is in effect, and uh, let us get into it. Oh, we have someone else. Oh, hi, Mira. So we are also Mira. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, I think it might be a brief one. We'll see if uh, anything, if we if we enter any sort of rabbit holes there. Um, we don't have our mentees, but nevertheless, um, I had a update from George that uh, the the PR for the UniFi stuff it should be coming soon. Uh, there's just some very some minor uh, minor tweaks which Sofnil needs to do, and that should be ready for review. And likewise, uh, likewise from Nine. Ah, Nine just connected here. <laughs> I know. And then is connecting microphone and audio. And let's uh, give her a chance. Oh, hi, Nayan. Hello, yes. I, I, I was just uh, mentioning, you know, going through the like mentorship status and I was about to describe your status update since I, I thought you're not here today, but uh, you just connected in very in, in that very moment you you appeared. So uh -huh. uh, um, yeah, I, I so you left uh, pull re the pull request for reviews. I, I know I I did my review yesterday. Yes, um, I'm working right now. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, yeah, but other than the, I mean, so you know, I I, I think um, generally it looks good. I just had some like uh, remarks mainly about the storage and kind of uh, stuff which re re stuff on top kind of mm, stuff implied from that story the, the database schema design. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, in general, I think it's good. It's it's in a good track. Um, but I'm curious how you are progressing in terms of the Aries V6 integration, if, if you had a chance to delve into that. Yes, uh, I, I did uh, go forward with it. So there is some progress. So uh, there were some more dependency issues, like uh, mm. yesterday we had the pair programming session and uh, we solved some of the dependency problems. So there were a few more and I have resolved them right now. And now it's building properly like that module is being loaded and it has built completely. So now the next step is going to be to execute the initializing function inside of my main. So now it's just a, a module. So it's mm. building properly and dependencies are satisfied. 
but I haven't actually executed it uh, inside my main. So next step is to do that. Yes, so that's where we are right now. So hopefully by this week, the end of this week, I'll have uh, an agent that's in a way alive, I guess, inside mm -hmm. my repository. And yeah, uh, about the PR review, yes. Uh, thank you for the review. And I'm working on the suggestions that you mentioned. I've also responded uh, to some of the comments right now. Uh, I'm working on making the changes that you mm -hmm. mentioned. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sounds great. Looking forward and uh... And it's, it's um I'm, I'm, I, I can I can feel your excitement and I'm very much sharing it. It's, it's awesome. All right, uh, let's so let's go on. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I I mentioned swap nails PR is gonna be soon ready, and then we don't didn't have I guess like significant PRs merged or anything since last week. If I check the closed PRs, I don't think there was much stuff there. Well, there was some README update, but yeah, other than that, uh, there wasn't much. But perhaps uh, one thing uh, which kind of came to some sort of conclusion was the 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 state machine PR from Bogdan, uh, as we kind of had lots of lots of discussions about it. Uh, we kind of agreed so far uh on kind of the the, the ideas which uh Bogdan drafted uh could be still applied but we would like to have that rather on the upper layer on top of Aries VCX rather than making it part of that like the the core uh like the what is currently known as Aries VCX so maybe something like Aries VCX framework could be built on top of Aries VCX and then over time we can we can build out uh, 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 AATH and uh, and end-to-end -end tests and perhaps even the uni five wrappers. So it could be used for mobile maybe. And basically it should be, this, this is the kind of layer it should be handling persistence or perhaps even a, 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 like kind of convenient message handling to, to shield the user away from all the like, uh error conditions and perhaps like retries and stuff which people presumably commonly want to do when certain things happen in the state machines uh that's the layer which might be handling that and yeah i guess for now we'll we will just keep our ath as is but uh, if this comes to existence then we can start kind of building our existing component on top of that and uh, making them a bit thinner. Uh, that being said, I don't know, Bogdan, do you have any uh, I don't know, more comments or remarks or any, any new thoughts on state machines? Mm, nothing really worth discussing now. OK. Uh, then I'll move on. Um, we have. Um, we have interview a bunch of PRs. Um, uh, there was the, the one for the individr migration that's been already reviewed by Miro and I'm working on addressing that. Um, it's been tested, uh, tested thoroughly uh, and it works pretty well. For some reason, um, it happens to it, I don't know with the, with the old ledger implementation. It uh, somehow uh, managed to ignore the badly be like uh, um, mis it, it managed to ignore or disregard misbehaving nodes. So uh, out of the box, actually, the old implementation was faster. But um, uh, this is equally good um, if you. Um, make sure that there's no misbehaving nodes on the network you're using. In our case, there was a sovereign staging that, uh, by the way, we, we notified the sovereign about the problematic nodes. So hopefully they'll get fixed up. Uh, yeah, then there was this uh, ancient uh, PR also ready for review. Uh, it, this is removing OpenSL uh, dependency, which is not needed anymore. 
uh, yeah, I see there's George already approved it, but uh, you guys have a look and uh, feel free to merge it if you think it's good. Uh, and lastly, um, one more PR from me. This is built on the ledger, on the VDR tools, the 914. Uh, this is adding uh, capability to write uh, endorser DID. Uh, it's very specific because that's what we happen to need, but uh, uh, this can be easily generalized to support writing in arbitrary roles uh, on the ledger. So <clears throat> I don't know, you, you might want to actually, I'm, I'm expecting maybe some remarks about that. So. If we, if we want to generalize it, we, we can do that easily for sure. So we would be able to write not only endorse a role, but any role. Um, and then in progress, um, we have our revocation state picks up from George. It's uh, that's addressing issue he has created a while ago. Uh, it's just described here. Uh, this is still in progress. So we'll wait for George to give update on it maybe next week. Uh, I understand, Bogdan, you, start, uh, you started or will start on the Predex update? I uh, will, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be great, actually. I, I mean, it might be pretty simple. I don't know. I, I gave it a step, and it was more than just updating dependencies. So I created a placeholder. And... Uh, uh get it get it uh, make sure we get it ad addressed uh soon it should trim off all the dependency tree and uh and uh also it'll be better to to complete the credits migration when we when we know we have our latest credits in place uh and then did ex did exchange protocol implementation uh it's it's uh in the works still uh uh, actively, uh, well, Mira can uh, give an update, but as I know, it's uh, those uh, updates in terms of AATH, interop, and there's uh, some some outstanding challenges. Mira, do you want to give an uh, update on, on the, the exchange? So, <clears throat> well, an update since uh, last week is I have done some refactoring. And so now, like the code is more or less ready to be seen, uh, without like uh, the risk of making anybody blind. But uh, yeah, besides that, I also um, implement or um, made basically all the ADH tests uh, work both ways, except one where uh, a Kappa actually performs attachment signature verification, uh, which fails. So just uh, months ago, I made a quick and dirty implementation of the, the JWS signing of the attachment decorator. And yeah, right now I'm trying to find out why Akapai doesn't like it. Uh, so, but mm. besides that, like there are still, there are still plenty of tools uh, across the code I did, but um, and one one uh, last probably big bigger outstanding issue is that I actually need to write some integration test, especially for the scenarios which are not tested by ATH test. And yeah, after that I can I can open open a PR or uh, I can I can do I can open it even now if uh, somebody wants to see it for some reason. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, that's about the state. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, thanks for having. And uh, lastly, well, that's the my migrate version, which my uh, wallet migration Node.js, which was already implemented a long time uh, ago by by Bogdan, but then we had to revert it because of some all the dependency uh, complexities uh, and like. Um, uh, in terms of in the VDR and all these modular lips and VDR tools, um, some combination of features uh, which uh, cause the compilation to fail, but that will be fixed now. 
uh, as we addressed uh, removing VDR tools ledger client and dependency three shrink down a bit. So those issues should be overcame now. And uh, yeah, I guess that's actually it. Uh, there's nothing more on agenda. This was a quick one. Uh, unless anyone have anything else to discuss or uh, bring in. All right, I guess there's nothing more then, and uh, we can wrap it up. Uh, have a have a great rest of the week. Thank you. See you next week again. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Yeah.